Hi, welcome to our final presentation of our television show, The Promotion, presented by Lady Bosses, Inc. Our group is made up of Jessica Dyson, Meredith Cook, Daniela Villalobos, Bridget Belcher, and Emma Arcamoni. We hope you enjoy. First, we'd like to introduce the Lady Bosses, Inc. team. This is a look at the group members that made the show possible. Jessica is an accounting major, a junior, and an administrative assistant at a media law firm. Meredith, myself, is a MIS major, a senior, a store manager at Office Depot, and loves coffee. Emma, a finance major, a junior, a customer service associate at Publix. Uh, next, we have Daniela, who is a finance major, a senior, and an accounts receivable specialist at Phoenix Programs of Florida. And finally, Bridget, who is an accounting major, a junior, and a restaurant manager at the Hut and Scully's. Here we have the team member roles. As a group, we collaborated equally in the concepts of the show, but specialized in certain tasks. Jessica was our supply manager. Meredith was the production and template designer. Emma, myself, was the videographer. Daniela was our creative director, and Bridget was the editor and proof reader. And now we have an exclusive trailer brought to you by a Lady Bosses Inc. and Principles of Management Production for the exclusive television series, the promotion. Hello, welcome to Tech Monster. I'm Elena, the corporate manager. I am super sophisticated, intelligent, and a true lady boss. I am the show's protagonist. I will face the ultimate ethical dilemma and have to choose between doing what's best for my company or what's doing best for my personal friendships. I am a planner and organizer and manage the business with empathy. I have technical and specialized skills and have successfully run this branch for over 19 years. Hello, I'm Tina, the new transfer. I'm a recent University of South Florida graduate with a master's in information technology and I am the underdog of the office. I'm the type that will always follow the code of ethical conduct and I know the company's policies. I'm a hardworking individual and have quickly moved up the ranks. I am driven, think strategically, and use logical reasoning in my day-to-day -day situations. Hey, I'm LaToya. Um, who are you? I'm the show's antagonist who pressures the rest of the staff to support me for the newly opened position. I feel entitled because of my tenure, but for the same reason, I am burnt out. I am very close with the staff, but specifically Elena. My behavior and constant complaints hurt the store's morale, and I value my personal needs over those of the company. My self-efficacy is awful, and my performance is worse. Hi, I'm Lauren. Oh my gosh, did you hear about 
I am the office gossiper and an instigator. I perceive the office as a social playground rather than a professional work environment. I am a skilled department head but fuel the fire between Tina and LaToya. I have created an informal communication channel which distracts other employees from their daily tasks. This has ultimately created the unprofessional work environment. Hello, I'm Monica. This will probably be the only time we meet. I am the store's longtime branch manager who decides to leave and dedicate my life to starting a family. I have set the standard high for the next manager to come, and it will be very hard for her to fill my shoes. I possess every quality of an ideal manager. In addition, I was an effective leader and influenced my team to perform successfully and meet the company's set goals and objectives. I was not just a manager, but a leader. <clears throat> For the next part of our presentation, we will discuss the management concepts. These are at the heart of this project. Here's a general overview of the management concepts throughout the entire series. We will give a more in-depth analysis of these concepts later in the presentation. Episode 1, Characteristics of the Ideal Manager. Episode 2, A Manager's Role, Corporate Social Responsibility and Managerial Ethics. Episode 3, The Individual Decision-Making Process. Episode 4, Managing Change Effectively, Effective Communication, and informal communication channels. And episode five, the professional communication and professional work atmosphere. For our first in-depth analysis of the management concepts, we take a look at episode one. What does a manager do? Monica was the ideal manager. In this episode, we see her planning, organizing, directing, and controlling the key things that an ideal manager does. While she was planning, she was estimating future conditions and circumstances and making decisions about appropriate courses of action. In this episode, Elena explains that during Monica's time at the company, she was a master planner. Organizing, which is systematically integrating resources to accomplish tasks. This episode opens with Monica showing her organizing skills by delegating her organized task list out to other associates. Directing, the process of attempting to influence other people to attain an organization's objectives. This is shown in episode one as Monica directs Lauren and Latoya to complete the spreadsheets which will help to further Tech Monster's objective, objectives for the quarter. Controlling, which is regulating the work for whom the manager is responsible. This is one of Monica's strengths. She is known for her ability to control the team, and Elena discusses that because of these skills, losing Monica will leave a tough spot to fill. For our second in-depth analysis of the management concepts, we look at Episode 3. Episode 3 reviews in-depth the individual decision-making process by following Elena's process through determining the best candidate for the promotion. In Step 1 of this process, Elena identifies the problems and opportunities and the gap made by Monica's departure. For step two, Elena develops objectives and criteria and relative weights for the criteria and what is needed for the branch manager position. Step three, Elena must generate alternatives for the position based on both past solutions and creative new solutions. Step four in Elena's process is when she analyzes the alternatives on the phone with Monica and narrows it down to two prospective employees, Tina or Latoya. Moving on to step five, which is selecting from these alternatives. In this episode, Elena alludes to the fact that she knows who is best, but does not choose one here. Step six and seven, implementing and evaluating, are revisited later in the show when the final decision is delivered.
The summary, what we learned as a group, how to collaborate effectively, time management skills, technical skills such as PowerPoint, storyboard, Photoshop, iMovie, video recording, file conversions, what we learned about management concepts. There is no one formula for management. It is different every day. A manager needs to be able to handle spontaneous and chaotic situations while maintaining professionalism. Communication was an important concept. A manager must understand different communication channels, both formal and informal channel. Individual and group decision making, both as it applies to management and to our group setting. First and foremost, we recommend you plan ahead. We suggest selecting a specific day of each week to meet, asking group members to come prepared with materials, ideas, and templates to make the meeting efficient. Read the textbook chapters and keep the learned concepts in mind when working through each milestone. Use your writing logs and experience from design challenges to aid in understanding the concepts. Management concepts should be the center of the show. Effective communication is also crucial. We suggest setting up a group text and keep each member updated on scheduling ideas and meetings. Want to see more of our work? Click our link below to visit our group site to see all of our milestones and design challenges along the way. To create and support our television series, we used the textbook, of course, 